I kind of alluded to uh, this snare drum uh, in one of my last videos that I did a couple of weeks ago where I talked about Tama. And um, this snare drum is one of the cheaper, uh, lower end snare drums that uh, Tama do. But uh, I was thinking about it for, uh, I don't know, well, a good few weeks, um, maybe a month. And uh, I was thinking about buying it, and then I sort of said no, and then I thought about it again, and thought no, and then I thought about it again, and thought really, you know, why not? And uh, the reason why I, I bought it in the end, I was curious about the... Uh, continuing into the, I suppose, exploration of Kapoor uh, as a wood. And also because uh, this is a slightly, well, the, the dimensions are basically different to uh, the other drums that I have uh, that are made of the same wood. So, the drum is this one, which is the Tama uh, Soundworks. Uh, there you go, it's a bit better, I suppose, yeah. Tama Soundworks uh, snare drum. It's uh, 30. It's well, it's a 13 by six and a half inch version. Uh, there is also, I believe, a 14 by six uh, version, which I haven't tried. But um, this drum has been, uh, in the short time that I've had it, um, quite quite interesting to uh, to play really and, and to look at and experience. So. Um, Couple of the key things that I'm quite impressed with. Uh, first of all, the shell. You know, it's uh, you know, it's nicely put together. Um, there's no obvious marks or anything on it. Snare mechanism. Okay, not not. Uh, I know I've ranted on before about snare mechanisms, but at the end of the day, this this drum is like uh, was was 165 sterling, so uh, it's not a high end drum. As I said, it's uh, not an expensive drum, so I will forgive the... Well, you know what, well, this isn't a, a cheap and nasty strainer like some of the, uh, the snare drums that I get to review. So, you know, it's basic, it works, you know... That's about it, you know. It, the, oops, that's what it does. Um, butt plate, you know... Upside down, obviously, but uh, you know, basic, fairly straightforward. The lugs, there you go, bridge lugs, uh, two, four, six. So it's an anyway, it's an eight lug drum. Apart from those other things, uh, you've got the um, very sort of Slingland esque hoops. Uh, I think they're Sound Arc hoops. They're called, uh, or what Tama calls them anyway. Uh, oddly enough, exactly the same as the. Uh, uh, the hoops I have on the Slingerland kit here and the uh, Slingerland Artist Slayer drums that I've previously talked about. Some of the things I think I'm most impressed about though, as I said, this drum cost me £165 and that was with the shipping as well. Now, um, one of the things that I frequently come across with sort of lower end snare drums when I review them is that invariably you either get gash heads on the top and you'll certainly get a gash head on the bottom and when i say a gash head i mean one of the uh, rubbish ones that uh, come from china basically like the uh, remo uts or whatever now these uh this drum has basically a, a it's a it's a tama branded but it's a an evans g1 coated on the top and an evans there you go, snare side, uh, the, the light's right next to the camera, uh, and Evans snare side on the bottom. So, quality heads, that's quality heads on a on basically a budget drum. And you've also got the Tama wires on here as well, again you probably won't be able to see it because of the lighting, but uh, actual proper Tama wires and not generic rubbish on there as well. So, you know what, for 165 quid, I was very, very pleasantly surprised, um, and that's just by that's just in terms of the components and things. I'm actually not going to do a separate. Uh, well, look, I, I have done a sound file uh, involving this drum. Um, I used it to do a review fairly recently, 
and um, so I'm, I'm not going to basically, you know, set everything up again just to do another sound file with this. So what I'm going to do is, uh, in a minute, I will cut to the review footage, which has me playing this snare drum. And what I will say about that review footage is that probably 90% of the sound that is coming, uh, well, the sound that you'll be able to hear from the kit was recorded with the overhead. It's probably uh, a 10% or so, a very small amount uh, that was actually coming from the um, SM57 that is, is on the kit. So basically this is overhead sound with just a fraction of the actual close mic on it. It's mixed It's mixed basically more to showcase the cymbals rather than anything else. So the bass drum's a little bit more quiet, but uh, yeah, I was quite quite impressed. I was quite impressed playing the drum in here. Uh, I took it to a rehearsal and uh, was impressed when I played it in there. And uh, yeah, as I said, I was quite impressed when it came out with, uh, you know, on this review as well. And uh, the only thing I'll say, as with basically any of these, these videos that I do, um, there is a, a, only a very tiny bit of EQ. Um, I think most of the EQ on this is to take out some of the uh, sort of boxiness of the room. Uh, I think at about 350 hertz and uh, not much else. There's a couple of uh, notches uh, just to bring the... Uh, the wires and and the head out, but uh, not really anything more than that. Uh, and there's no compression, there's no reverb, there's no nothing else on it. It's just that tiny bit of EQ. But you know what? For the price, I'm I, I'm really glad I actually got this snare drum. Um, that's that's all I'm going to say. I'm really glad that I got it. Um, I've really it's made in China, which is probably the reason why some of uh, well why the price is is as good as it is. But uh, you know what? I'm impressed, I'm happy, so anyway, check out the video uh, of me playing the snare drum, and thank you for watching, see you in the next video.